What's up guys, welcome back to Libertalia Game Supply. I was super tight on time this week, so I wasn't really able to play test or build much of anything at all. So instead, I went looking through some deck profiles that have been topping in the OCG in the last couple of weeks. I just picked out a few that I wanted to share with you. So we'll take a look at these four deck lists, see what they got going on over there, and hopefully I'll be able to get a better video out for you guys next week. All right, so first up here, we got this Valance deck. So one Dominator Duke, three Mad Marquise, three Voltage Viscount, 2 Buster Baron, 2 Nazuki, 3 Scion, 3 Shinonome, 3 Super Heavy Samurai Prodigy Wakaushi, 1 Super Heavy Samurai General Coral, 1 Majesty Pegasus the Draco Slayer, 1 Performa Pell Greatest Duelist, 1 Arch Phoenix Centric, a little throwback, uh, 1 Fossil Dynapachycephalo, a big throwback, Triple Ash Blossom, Triple Max C. That is going to be very common with these deck profiles today because the OCG has Triple Max C, and so everyone plays it. Triple Valance Awakening Solo Activation, Double Valance World Konig Weissen, Double Valance World Shin Rabancho, One Secret Village of the Spellcasters, Two Call by the Grave, that makes me jealous, and Two Triple Tactics Talent. For our extra deck, we got one Valance Genesis Grand Duke, one Arctos 12 Chrono Chasm Valance. That's quite the name. One Baron, one Gallant Granite, one Baguska, two Beyond the Pendulum, one Electromite, one Sprite Elf, one Artifact Dagda, one Raten the Heavenly General, one Appaloosa Bow the Goddess, one Boral Sword Dragon, one Unchained Abomination, and one Underworld Goddess of the Closed World. And then for the side deck, Triple Lava Golem, double Kumungus, one Artifact Scythe, double Denko Seca, double Cosmic Cyclone, one Triple Tactics Thrust, this seems to be a really common side deck card in the OCG right now at one in particular, which I kind of understand, but also don't fully at the moment. So if anybody knows what that's about, please leave a comment. The one Sanctum for the one Scythe, and two Judgment and one Red Reboot. The next one we have here is Bysteel Thunder Dragon. And for this one, we have pretty much everything that you would need to play the deck, minus the Max C, except for one very important piece, uh, the Colossus, which is still banned here. Here's to hoping that we get it back to one one of these days. It's been plenty of years now, but we've got one Bysteel Lubellion, two Bysteel Saranir, uh, one Magnum Hut, one Druus Worm, one Bald Drake. These are all at one, otherwise I assume you'd play more. We've got the one Dragon Duo, the two Dragon Roar, the one Dragon Hawk, and then the three Dragon Dark, as well as three of the original Thunder Dragon and two Thunder Dragon Matrix. This is pretty standard for what it was looking like in the TCG before it got messed up too. It was maybe higher ratios of this stuff, but not really, like towards the end and when they were splashing in other engines, it was looking pretty much like this. And then we got the two Aloof Lupine, the two Battery Man Solar, one Wyver Buster, and one Collapse Servant, the standard Triple Ash, Triple Maxi, and then Triple Effect Veiler. For spells, we got Triple Allure of Darkness, Double Chaos Space, Double Triple Tactics Talents, one Branded Regained, one Thunder Dragon Fusion, one Gold Sark, and one Skill Drain. For our extra deck, we got the aforementioned one Colossus, two Titan, one Chaos Angel, one Relinquished Anawa, one Striker Dragon, one Cross Sheep, one Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, one Dark, one Mascarena, our Phoenix and our Unicorn, the one Appaloosa, Crusadia Aver Max, and Access Code Talker. And then in our side, we got Double Radian, Double Dimension Shifter, Double Droll and Lock, Double Raigeki, one Feather Duster, one Dark Ruler No More. This is really strange. Uh, one Triple Tactics Thrust again. I guess in this side deck, I understand it because it will get you all of the all of these. Everything else back row in the side deck. The double dimensional barrier, the double evenly matched, and then all of this stuff all can be searched by the uh, thrust, I believe. So I guess that makes sense. All right, and then we will take a look at this super heavy samurai deck. It's probably going to be a pretty decent meta deck in the TCG as well once we get this new support in, an, I think it's in Cyberstorm Access. Uh, we have, once again, everything except for that Max C to play this deck. So I imagine it would hold its position when it comes over here. But we got oh, the names on these, man. Double Super Heavy Samurai Monk Warrior Big Benkai. Triple Prodigy Wakaushi. Triple Samurai Wagon. One Scales. Triple Soul Piercer. One Soul Gaia Booster. Three Bike, one Spy. One Soul Piece Maker. One Soul Horns, 
and then uh, just some tech stuff. So Therian King Regulus at one Double Kamungus, one Kashtira Fenrir, one Scythe, one Infinitrack Tunneler, one Ancient Gear Box, Triple Ash, one Ghost Mourner, Triple Maxi, double DD Crow, double Effect Veiler, one Droll, one Cyframe Gear Gamma, and then the one Cyframe Driver for the Gamma. Really, this seems like this is exactly how it would be built over here since you can't use Spellar Traps because of the Super Heavy Samurai effects. You're gonna just see this. It's gonna be all the Super Heavy Samurai Engine stuff, whatever text people like, and then a bunch of hand traps instead of back row. So I would assume you should get used to seeing this in particular if you're playing meta. In the extra deck we got Super Heavy Samurai Ninja Sarutobi, the one Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon just had a, a nice bump in price recently. Uh, the one Stardust Dragon, the one Baron, and then the one Super Heavy Samurai Steam Train King. For our standard rank fours we got Abyss Dweller, Exiton, and Bagusko, and then we got the one Zeus. And this little combo of, of uh, Exiton and Zeus is kind of interesting because I believe what you would be doing with that is you make the Exiton blow up the board, you attack and do no damage, but you attacked. Main phase two, you would overlay for the Zeus, and now you have a Zeus to make a, another board wipe. So that's kind of interesting. I never really thought to do that. It seems kind of redundant. Why wouldn't you just pick one or the other? But uh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess you could also overlay it on either of these two, but these are more Floodgate cards, so it would make less sense to overlay on top of them. I don't know. Share your thoughts down below. For the links, we got Super Every Samurai Scarecrow at 2, 1 Ancient Gear Ballista, 1 Cliff Ward Genius, 1 Artifact Dagda, and 1 Appaloosa. And then on the side deck, we got Super Every Samurai Thief, 1 Kamungus, 2 Denko Seka, 1 Soul Buster Gauntlet. Wow, that's quite the name. Uh, we're playing one of these. 2 Dimension Shifter, 2 Lancia, 2 Droll and Lock, 1 DD Crow, and then 2 Summon Limit. This seems strange to me. I would imagine it's a going first, you would side it in, and then you're just going to flip the one and ideally it doesn't go to the graveyard to mess up the rest of your plays, so I'm guessing that's the plan with that, but I guess I'm not really sure, so uh, please enlighten us if you know. And then our last one here, we'll take a look at an Exo Sister deck. I think it was kind of seeing some play in the TCG and then I just haven't really heard anything about it in a while. And then this one is also playing Spirit Monsters, which seemed kind of unique and interesting to me. So we got three Exo Sister Martha, three Ellis, two Stella, and one Sophia. Then we got triple Sakitama and triple Aratama for a little Spirit Engine. We have Double Dimension Shifter, Obligatory Triple Ash, Triple Max C, uh, two DD Crow, three Exo Sister Pax, one Exo Sister Arment, Double Prosperity, Double Call by the Grave. Double Dimensional Fissure, one Exo Sister Vadis, one Exo Sister Returnia, and then Triple Imperm. In the extra deck, we have Triple Michalis, two Caspatel, one Gibreen, one Asophil, two Magnifica, one Exiton, one Ptolemaeus, one Deltros, and one Constellar Diamond, the Zeus, and the uh, Sky Striker Ace Azalea, that new Sky Striker Link. And here we see it again, the Exiton and the Zeus. I, this deck I could see Zeus being overlaid on more of it because there's so many other Xyz monsters, so I guess that makes more sense. But this pair of them seems interesting to me. I want to know more. And then on the side deck, we've got Triple Droll, Double Book of Eclipse, Double Herald of the Abyss, which is a card I've never seen played, Triple Evenly Matched, Triple Solemn Judgment, and two Anti-Spell Fragrance to wrap it up. All right, and that'll do it for this one. I've got a new Bujin deck list coming out in two weeks now. May 5th should be the release day next week. Uh, we'll see what I'm feeling like. We'll see what I feel like making. i got a couple of uh, ideas for videos and just haven't been able to like really sit down and pull the trigger on making them. So. Uh, so we'll see how that goes next week. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than it went this week. I had some troubles. It is what it is. Anyway, happy deck building. Hope you guys saw some stuff you liked, found interesting. See you in the next one. Have a good one.